I'm Joshua Bardwell, and today, chugga chugga chugga, apparently I'm on a hype train. I didn't know I was on a hype train. I thought I was just getting on a train. In fact, I thought I found a pretty cool train that nobody else had heard of. Turns out I'm not a special snowflake. And today I'm looking at product from Think Tank Photo. Now, you have seen other reviewers, maybe, reviewing the Think Tank uh, quadcopter backpacks and the Low Pro backpack. And yes, in my own good time, I will also do my personal look at those, give you my thoughts. But I'm holding back on that because I don't want to just, I want to really live with them for a little while before I tell you what my thoughts are. Today, what we're going to be looking at is these cable management bags from Think Tank. Uh, I am a really kind of an anal retentive guy at heart. I like my stuff to be super organized. So I'm a big fan of organizer bags and stuff like this. But I'm also a cheap bastard. And for those of you who don't, now this this smaller one is about 17 bucks. This bigger one is about 22 bucks. There's an even bigger one uh, than this one with two separate separated compartments that I don't have. It runs about 25 bucks. If that seems preposterous to you, put the review on hold. I'm going to show you the cheap bastard option. This is the cheap bastard option. These uh, these are nylon tool pouches. You can get them from, I got them from Home Depot. I'm sure if you, wherever you are, you can find a local equivalent. They come in a set of three. I've only got two here because I can't find the other one. I'm using it somewhere. It's slightly bigger than this one, so proportionally bigger. And it's about 15 bucks uh, for three of them. Now these are okay for tools. In fact, they're ideal for tools. And they're okay for cables too. And they're, of course, cheap, 15 bucks. It's less than the price of this one to get three of these, okay? Uh, but they, they have some downsides for cables that I'll then use to segue into what's nice about these. One downside of these is that if you want to get the cables out, you got to go in there and you got to kind of dig around and look inside where you can't see from the outside. It, the idea of this mesh thing, I think, is that if you've got tools in there, you can see the handles of the tool. You can reach in and get the tool you want. But for cables, you're often going to be digging around in there, trying to find what you're looking for. The other thing about these that makes them less than ideal is that they are flat, okay? So they don't have the same sort of volume to hold a mess of tools. And when they do get full, they kind of bulge out like that and they don't stack and nest and so forth nicely. But 15 bucks for a set of three. If you are a cheap bastard or a poor person, this is what you should buy. So with the cheap bastard option out of the way, let's take a look at the expensive option. Well, the number one thing I like about this bag is that it's got this clear front. And that means if you have a mess of cables like I do, when I go digging around in there, I can just look from the front and dig around for what I need. I don't have to be kind of looking in from the top. You see how much harder it is to find what you need? You have to pull everything out. Whereas this way, you can kind of just shuffle around and leave everything in there until you find what you want. And I think that's really clever. When my partner saw this, she said, oh, that's a makeup bag. And I said, don't call it a makeup bag. It's a, it's a cable organizer bag. So I looked to find, to see if I could find a, a cheap makeup bag that was similar to this. And I'm not really up on the whole makeup ecosystem. When I searched for makeup bags, I didn't find this exact thing. But it's possible that if you are a cheap bastard and you want something very similar to this, you can find something similar, albeit probably in some shade of pink or pastel, <laughs> if you're looking for a makeup bag. It's a very similar thing. The fabric is, I mean, I'm going to guess it's nylon. It's thinner than the tool bag. I'm not sure I would use this as a tool bag, especially tools like diagonal cutters or screwdrivers would probably scrape the plastic and potentially cut. Uh, it's probably tougher than it looks. It's also two layers here. I don't know what really the advantage of that is, but it gives a little bit of thickness and resistance to abrasion. And we've also got this tiny little Velcro pouch on the back. I have no idea what that's for. Maybe some little SD card, for example, or small adapters that you could stick in there. So, okay, there you go. There is your look at these Think Tank cable management bags. And chuga chuga chuga, welcome to the hype train. Uh, you'll be seeing more Think Tank product on the channel in the next coming weeks. Hopefully, I'll be able to give some insights that maybe other YouTubers haven't and not just completely waste your time. Sorry about the hype train. What can, I, what can you do? My final word on these bags is that they are definitely, definitely better for cable management than these these ones here. These ones will definitely do, but but these ones are better. The real question is, are they enough better enough to spend 20 bucks-ish on one bag? And I go back and forth on that. Um, 20 bucks is a lot to spend on one bag, but on the other hand, I hate not being able to find the cable I want and the ability to stuff them all in one bag and not feel like it's just a cluttered mess because you got this open front. Uh, is really appreciated. In fact, I've been considering actually spending my own dang money on one more. Uh, these are the two that Think Tank sent me, and I'm kind of like, well, I kind of need one more. So I don't know. Anyway, there's your review. I'm sure that you can decide for yourself whether that price is worth getting this. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy flying. Just don't want to be without something like, oh, there's my Fat Shark HDMI cable. So with the cheap bastard option out of the way, now, fuck hell. Shut up, phone.
Nobody likes you. Oh, no, I like you, Phone. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. No, I like you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I just, shh, I'm recording.